saw like a white lady near the stairs on the second floor leading to the third floor. Winchester, it's over you now. Please, if you haven't already, be in the safest part of your home. It is called Stone Mansion. It's a historical property that was just devastated by this tornado. She won't leave. Who are you talking about? There, there's a, a, a strong female presence that you carry with you. That's strong. The story is that she was buried here on the grounds. All right, so buried. it said buried. Who is setting off this device? It's amplified because of the storm. On tornado northwest of wind, on 27 northwest of wind. Thirty-eight people injured, twenty-two homes at least were flattened, and more than one hundred were damaged. Okay, so there is a dark figure that is right there. Don't allow anything to attach itself to you. Okay, I, I, I've got to stop. I've got to stop. Set it off. A day with a focus on the southern states quickly shifted north to Indiana and Ohio, as rapid destabilizing of the atmosphere was evident. The Storm Prediction Center quickly took note, warning the public of impending significant severe weather potential. Around 5 p.m., storms began forming from Lafayette to Marion, Indiana. By 7 p.m., a maturing supercell would move into Logan County, Ohio, producing a destructive tornado, claiming the lives of three people. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no. One of those tornadoes ripping through Freiburg, Ohio, and this stunning damage from Lakeview, Ohio, and Logan County, at least an EF3 with winds of more than 136 miles per hour. At this time in Indiana, Another maturing supercell was taking aim at Randolph County. Also getting some reports out of Delaware County of just under 200 people already without power. Concern grew rapidly as damage reports began coming in. Yeah, and Sean, we continue you to get some information into yeah. the newsroom that perhaps there was some damage in Selma. In this, the Delaware County Sheriff's Department says that 50% of the structures here in Selma have been damaged. The strengthening supercell dropped a damaging tornado in Selma, with its sights now on the town of Winchester. Winchester, it's over you now. Safest part of your home is the lowest level away from windows and doors. Unfortunately, we're getting reports of damage coming out of Delaware County. As dusk set in, a large tornado began moving into Winchester. Crossing State Road 32, the tornado increased in strength as it moved toward downtown. Yep. Green on 42, I got one on the ground in town. It's going over R1. Second one right there. County 42 information. I got one on the ground in town and just back up. Through town. It looks like you're all right there. Right there. Yep, I see it. Right past the pizza hut. On 22 northwest of Lynn. On 27 northwest of Lynn. On 27. What do you want? 
Yeah, it's right past the church. Yo! <laughs> Uh, Winchester and you are under a confirmed tornado warning so please if you haven't already be in the safest part of your home right next door to my dad's. Randolph County Homeland Security Management says 38 injuries have been reported, 12 people taken to the hospital. The tornado carved a damage path through Winchester, flattening homes and businesses, and injuring 38 people. The official rating for this tornado was a high-end EF3, with just one mile per hour separating this from an EF4 rating. According to the National Weather Service, multiple vortices swirling around the main vortex were noted along the damage path. The community is just in devastation here. I've been driving throughout town and debris has just been scattered from homes to businesses. The ceiling ripped off or, you know, it felt like things were ripping off. We heard metal scraps flying around, people screaming. They were in the bathroom when the roof was ripped off, ripping the dog from their hands. Documents from Winchester were being found nearly 40 miles away in Ohio. It's been 38 years since a tornado of this magnitude has hit Winchester. And strangely, that exact number of injuries were reported. 38 people injured, 22 homes at least were flattened, and more than 100 were damaged. This powerful tornado was on the ground for 44 miles, forever changing the lives of those caught in the path. Where homes once stood in Winchester have now been reduced to plots of land. Meanwhile, in Illinois, storm chaser Cam Crosby was monitoring this outbreak, hearing the news of Winchester. Cam's been a storm chaser since he was 16 years old, living through multiple tornado outbreaks as a child. Two tornadoes, two nights in a row in the very same city. But that's exactly what happened here tonight in the city of Decatur. The ambulances were practically running a shuttle service from the northwest side of Decatur. There was a caravan of ambulances carrying the young and old. Some walked in with cuts. Others had to be carried in on stretchers. A powerful F3 tornado destroyed Cam's hometown. The extreme wind turbulence here in Macon County live on the air urging all Decatur area viewers to take cover immediately. The largest tornado outbreak to ever occur in Illinois. Big location is south of uh, Champaign-Urbana. This single event turned Cam's fear into an obsession. What sets Cam apart from other storm chasers is that he's also a paranormal investigator. Pray whatever earthbound spirits may hear linger. It's going off again. Just like storms, Cam was affected by spirits as a child. Growing up in Decatur, one of the most haunted towns in the country, he has countless investigations under his belt with compelling evidence. Help. Help me. Help me. I just heard it through the spirit box just now. <laughs> we 
get some responses, it's probably from spirits or whatever's down here. Entity. 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 Oh, oh my god. god. Two passions for the extreme colliding in one mind. As both storms and the paranormal have had a major impact on Cam's life. So why the connection? Cam's theory of imprinted energy from severe storms, possibly thinning the veil for paranormal activity to occur. A strong supercell contains energy 100 times higher than a nuclear explosion with even a weak tornado producing 40,000 kilowatt hours. Enough to power a large home for three years. Another energy produced on a large scale by tornadoes is kinetic energy. Debris in motion creating a high frequency vibration. So when Cam heard the news of Winchester, Indiana being hit by a tornado, he became concerned and interested in one location. It is called Stone Mansion. It is a historical property that was just devastated by this tornado. The historic and reportedly haunted Stone Mansion took a direct hit as the tornado moved through Winchester. Windows were blown in, large trees uprooted and thrown, breaking the porch, damaging the roof, and the iron fence surrounding the property was partially destroyed. Cam took the four-hour drive to Winchester to see the damage firsthand. Cam reached out to Stop, also known as Saving the Old Properties. Stop currently owns and operates Stone Mansion, Randolph County Asylum, Old Blackford County Jail, and other nearby locations. Founders Dan and Richard Allen have one mission, restore and preserve history. Cam was granted access to film the aftermath of the tornado and shed light on Stop's restoration efforts. How you doing? Are you Dan? Yeah, I'm Cam. Nice, nice to meet you. I saw you pulling up. I didn't know it was you though. You had the storm chaser. With Dan extremely busy, Cam was able to speak with some of the volunteers. I live 12 miles north of Winchester on 27, mm -hmm. and Richard called me. He said, you need to get in a hole. I said, why? He said, you got a tornado warning. And we just looked at the radar and it looks like it's right above your house. It's incredible to me that it hit this place and didn't do any more damage to the building than what it did do. Yeah, it wasn't built so solid. Anything from 1930 on didn't make it. Dan and Richard, along with volunteers at STOP, have been working countless hours for years to restore Stone Mansion. Met with adversity in the wake of a strong tornado, the community and volunteers work together to protect this historical property. We've been doing so much physical stuff today, I'm just like, I'm trying to today because we're not even done, right? <laughs> Explaining his concept of para-twisted, 
Cam would be given a chance to spend overnight alone in Stone Mansion, to study the link between severe storms and paranormal phenomena, as Stone Mansion is well known for being haunted. Down here, or was that there? It's not, it's, it did sound like a whistle, but also the jewelry box. Yeah, it's, it's The sound of bangs and a music box was heard by several staff nearby. We're looking for the source of it. Like a ting from like a, a music box or a jewelry box. And you heard it on? The second floor in the general's room while we're scraping the floor. And then in the kitchen, is that what that area is going? Mm, that's when I heard it. Yeah. Okay. And then it sounded like it was going from down here. No. What is this? This is where a little girl named Wendy says she's buried. And people have scribed and... Where was that? I'm gonna find this. I know you will. I hear a jewelry box. A I know. Box. I know. While Cam and the volunteers followed the sound into the basement, Richard also heard it upstairs, discovering an old music box in a closet. Richard said, because I went up to him, I was like, I keep hearing the music box sound. He goes, oh, well, I found a music box. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and he's like, yeah. He said, I found it, I think he said upstairs. And he put it back in the room on a cabinet back there. But it wasn't playing or anything. And I picked it up and walked through the house with it and started playing. After years of working at Stone Mansion, this sound was never heard until today. I've, I've never seen, seen that. that I've never seen that one here <sighs> at all. No, ever. So even if it was in the storeroom a long time or something, I've never heard it. I've never seen it. Yeah. This is the first mansion that I ever really connected with spirits on a level that I had never seen before. I just have had a lot of prolific experiences here that I've never had anywhere else. I turned on like our baby monitor camera and I saw like a white lady near the stairs on the second floor leading to the third floor. And immediately, as soon as that happened, uh, all seven cars that were in the parking lot, all different years, makes, models, like from, you know, like a 90s car to brand new, all of the car alarms went off. I can tell you there has been hundreds of times where I have left video running or done video or pictures that when I go home, I cannot open them or I cannot find them or I cannot post them, but I mean hundreds of times. I don't know if there's certain things they just don't want known or don't want you to see, but I, I haven't ever experienced that anywhere else, even at the asylum, like where it just isn't there. Sometimes there's piano playing when I uh, put, there's books along bookshelves, I put all those there and dust them and I'll hear piano keys or I'll hear piano keys on my recorders later when I know I was the only one here and was in the kitchen cleaning or something like that. I had some spoons like fly off a shelf behind me. I was quite a ways away, several inches away from the shelf that they were on. I feel like it's more active when I'm with a few that also help here or a few that also really respect it like I do. Melissa is not only a contributor to the STOP organization, she holds the stone mansion and the spirits close to her. She was diagnosed with a rare brain condition known as Chiari malformation. Drops in barometric pressure found in strong storms and paranormal activity can bring on major complications for her condition. Melissa often reaches out to Cam for guidance during severe storms, as simply driving in the rain can lead to complications. Despite these challenges, it doesn't stop her from being, well, herself.
Stone Mansion, Helping Hands Paranormal. <laughs> Hello everyone, Melissa from Helping Hands Paranormal. Just wanted to hop on and say thank you to everyone who supported me so far. This is the spirit of the STOP organization. The embodiment of faith. Persistence in adversity. Stone Mansion is in good hands. It's like Winchester, it, we were a beautiful town and we will be a beautiful town again. We just, like I said, need all the help we can get. So come out, volunteer, help us out. Get a hold of Kate at Saving the Old Properties, 765-808-8730. Look us up on Facebook if you wanna help. We need as much help as we can get, thank you. It feels like there's more hope and maybe that's now because there's more people that want to help or we're you know, able to get more people to help and they've seen that people want to. It feels like the house has more hope. General Asahel Stone constructed this Second Empire style home in 1872 for himself and his wife, Lydia. He was a well-respected carpenter from Marietta, Ohio serving as Indiana State Senator before and after the Civil War. After serving as a general in the Union Army, Stone would return to Winchester, becoming president and stockholder of Randolph County Bank. In March of 1880, he donated 40 acres of land to establish Fountain Park Cemetery in Winchester. General Stone even laid out planning for Randolph County Poor Farm, later rebuilt as the county infirmary and asylum. General Asahel Stone passed away in 1891. His wife Lydia followed in his death a year later. The Stone Mansion would live on, becoming everything from a private residence to a restaurant, and eventually abandoned. It was added to the National Register of Historical Places in March of 1979. Dan and Richard Allen purchased the property in 2019. With restorations underway, General Asahel Stone and his mansion will continue to live on. Some say the general and other spirits still roam the mansion. Could the recent storm amplify paranormal activity? This is what Cam aims to find out as he investigates the mansion, overnight, alone, I think that you're going to be successful because I think they already feel that the respect that you have. You respect architecture, you respect these styles of home, you do this. I feel like they know that and I think that you'll get a lot out of it because of who you are as a person. But first... Cam's daughter Camila was invited to the mansion, allowing Cam to clear his mind before the investigation. They paid a visit to Randolph County Asylum, just down the road from Stone Mansion. As the evening rain moved in, Cam made his way back to Stone Mansion. So tell me guide and medium Lydia Carpenter met up with Cam to do a walkthrough prior to his investigation. She agreed to a psychic walk of the mansion, relaying any messages from spirit as she takes Cam on a formal history tour. The spirits of Stone Mansion made themselves known immediately. There's that roll of carpet right there. You see the dark down at the bottom. Above that dark, I saw a figure. 
like it was coming up the stairs. Just now. Just now, yeah, <laughs> just now. This is what Stone Mansion looked like in its heyday. There was a railroad that ran through the property and then a windmill that was on the property that powered these two fountains. These houses, all right here, were built for the contractors to live in while they built this house. These fireplaces are actual Italian marble from the Carrera Quarry in Italy. It's the same marble that Michelangelo used on his sculptures. Now, there's a little girl named Wendy that plays on these stairs. Not only on these stairs, but up and down the hall. So when General Stone proposed to Lydia, um, she had one stipulation. She would only marry Ashel if he took her brother also. And he said, okay, because this was John's bedroom. When General Ashel Stone lived here, this was his bedroom. His wife, Lydia, had a room on the other end of the hall. When General and Lydia lived here, this was Lydia's changing room. And this was Lydia's bedroom. I was standing outside in the parking lot waiting on Kate and Dan to get here because I was shadowing Dan. Um, and I'm just looking at the architecture of the building and I see a figure standing in that window of a lady in white. This one right here, the one that I'm standing in front of. One thing I want to show you is this wall. There's really no corner to it. I mean, the only corner is right down there. So it curves. This is another reason why we say that they were all about privacy. With Lydia's room being right here and her brother's being at the end of the hall, if there was anything going on, period, like you, you're caught. Mm -hmm. So privacy was huge. This room would have been the general's stargazing room. The general was known to be a Southern sympathizer. He also was part of the temperance movement, so he didn't drink, he didn't do drugs, he didn't smoke cigarettes, any of that. But he did appreciate astrology. And he would prop his telescope and have a clear view of the night sky. The general was so bougie he walked to work every single day. He commissioned the very first sidewalk to be laid from the front of his house all the way to the bank, just so he didn't have to get his shoes dirty. This is actually second century Romanesque architectural style. <laughs> Sorry, it, it's, there's a lot of energy. When I'm in this area of the house, um, there's a lot of different things that, that go on. There's a lot of unknown here for me. Every time I come here, it's something different. I come here during the day and it's one experience and I'm here at night and it's something completely different. And right now it's something completely different also. So, and I don't know if it's just because the last couple of weeks have felt weird for me. When you say the last couple of weeks, do you think it's because of the storm? I think the storm had a lot to do with it, yes. The universe puts people exactly where they need to be, exactly when they need to be there. That's why you and I are doing this and not anybody else. Servant stairs, is that vulnerable? Yes, it is. When you investigate, just be very careful. Oh. I need you not to go down this way. Yeah, they're very steep. Yes. Don't use that. My daughter sees a man that's about six foot two that hangs out right down here. She says half of his face is burnt. 
And the interaction that I get with this man is a very impatient interaction. I told you about Wendy, the little girl mm. that plays on the stairs and in the hallway. She lived here with her uncle. The story is that she was hit by the train that ran through the property and buried here on the grounds of the house. But people that have scried and that have brought in Ouija boards and things like that have gotten that she was not hit and killed by the train that ran through the property, but her uncle beat her to death and made it look like the train killed her. And she says she's buried right in here. There is a slight arch. Do we know if there really were in fact tunnels? I have talked to two or three people that have lived in houses that had tunnels. They could go so far in the rest of them. The rest of the tunnel was cemented up or blocked off. You've got a visitor. I've been drawn to this room back here since we started. Uh-huh. I came in here earlier like there's something back here. Another supposed tunnel. It's right there. We don't know if it was storage. We don't know any of that. Now, is the evidence credible? Have you been a part of it or is it just like somebody says? I was here very shortly with that only because I don't Portals and Ouija boards and things are a whole different beast that I'm not a fan of because I don't have control. I believe that this house plays off of individuals' energy. I believe that there is anger in this house. I believe that there's sadness but I believe that it is all about the person that is here, whether they have a good experience or a bad experience. I just get the vibe from me personally, and it could be just because I'm an outsider. I don't <laughs> no, no, it, it, it's the general does not care for you. There is something that he does not care for about you. I don't know certain individuals nationality and, and things like that he's not a, a fan of so i guess i would be very careful be very cautious protect yourself um don't don't hold back either like he does not want you here um he does not appreciate you as an individual it, it, it's it's you so i i am telling you you need to be careful there, there's a, a, a strong female presence that you carry with you, period. A very strong female presence. Okay, ma maternal. What was that? Where'd that come from? <laughs> Back there. It sounded like that broom. It sounded like it might have been from in here. Hello? How fucking perfect was that? There's a overwhelming male presence in the basement. How many spirits do you think are here? At least five. If I'm standing on the other side and I'm looking at the stairs, I only see a figure in the stairwell. I'm not afraid of anything, but this whole building is Pandora's box for me. You turn one and something else comes up and then you turn that and something else comes up. So it's almost as if it is a portal or a gateway. Don't allow anything to attach itself to you. Um, you need to be, there's screaming in my head. <laughs> you need to be careful. Sorry, confirmation, I'm, I'm so sorry. Because I've been through some of the most insane things you could imagine. Traumatizing. It, 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 most things that would kill 
others or, or destroy them mentally. It, it, you're still here. Lydia and Cam bonded quickly. And as Lydia began tapping into Cam's dark spiritual past, the energy changed. You have inherited a gift. Um, wow. Long, long line. Um, generational, actually. But you had to face a lot of demons, a lot of, uh, a lot of heartache, a lot of trauma, a lot of, a lot of really bad, dark shit. Wow, okay. Um, you shouldn't be alive today. These are things that should have killed you, that, that tried to. Wow, okay. Okay. The recording stopped inexplicably. And it stopped, yes, because and that is stopped. something that is not supposed to be on film right now. Say it again. I can't. You have to. <laughs> you already know what the fuck it did. <laughs> Say that again, and I don't give a fuck what anybody here thinks. <laughs> What, the fact that you've been through shit that should have killed yeah, you? Yeah, say it exactly the same way. That, that you've been through shit that should have killed you. I can't, I like, for real, you've been through more shit, shit that should have killed other people that didn't kill you. You shouldn't be in this plane of existence. You shouldn't. They tried to take you out a long time ago. When you say they. Oh man, the demons that you have chasing you. <laughs> Do you believe in literal demons? I, 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 I do. I do. I know that they're real. Um, but I told you downstairs, you can't have good without the evil. You don't have malintent. Now, if somebody were to cross you, or those that you care about, then... Then that's a different story. So you've never had an experience like this before? Mm, no, 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 not, not with yours, no. No, this is... Okay, so there is a dark figure that is right there. Dark meaning? Black. Just dark energy? Yeah, yeah, it, it, but it's figure. Like, I'm, I'm out of my peripheral, I'm seeing it, and it's right there. Like, I see the side of it. Intention? Protection for, for you. Big black wings. I would not call it a demon. Dark angel. Very, very dark. Okay. But wings. Like, protector. Like, f with me and find out. Like, that's... A lot of your, your ancestors are, are coming through right now. Like, you've got a lot of protection. You've got a lot. Holy f A lot. Okay. I, I, I've got to stop. I've got to stop. Sorry. That's heavy. Like, that's heavy on my chest. Okay. You good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's just really heavy. Hold on to him. Don't let anybody manipulate you. The energy is, is, is prime. It's right. Like, it, it, it's amplified because of the storm. And I, like I said, I, I, I feel like you are on the right track. I see this going very, very far, honestly. Always remember where you came from. Lydia now exits the mansion as Cam prepares for the investigation. Before the investigation could even begin, one of the REM pods Cam set up triggered. REM pod just went off again. I am here completely alone. The energy is very high. It just feels like there's something right up on you at all times. It's definitely a very heavy energy. Even the tour guides admitted that the house feels completely different after the storm. Just amazing that like if I was sitting here, I could have looked out this window and seen 
the tornado coming. We've got some equipment deployed. I'm getting ready to go into full investigation mode. Let's see what we get. I mean absolutely no disrespect to anybody that's in this house. If you're a benign spirit, or if you're the original owners, builders of this home, Angry. Just said angry. Ghost Tube uses a phone's magnetometer to detect fluctuations in the environment. In theory, a spirit can interact with the magnetic field, choosing a word to communicate. So it's strange to hear the word angry right after a loud bang. Builders of this home. Angry. What are you angry about? Are you in this house right now? What's the house look like to you? Do you see what I see? Dining. Dining room. Okay. So, I'm going to document that. So it said dining. And we just happen to be in what would be like the dining room area. Are you down here with me? This main floor. You won't understand. Why? Follow me. Where are you? I just heard something over here. I'm right here. I'm gonna move this and put it in front of me. I want you to speak to me. You said, follow me. Then you said, I'm right here. Where are you? What room are you in? Are you in this room with me now? I'm scared. Come to the sound of my voice. Sitting right here. Cam is filming in different color spectrums alongside ultraviolet lights. In theory, spirits manifest in certain light spectrums, while others may not always be visible. Can you set this device off in front of me? There's one in this room behind me, and there's one on the stairs. You can choose which one you want to set off. As I stated before, I am not here to disrespect you in any way. I don't know if you're living in the same time space that we are, but this home was just hit by a tornado. That's what brought me here to this house. That's why I'm here. Light this device up next to me right here. Do it once, you don't have to do it again. But understand that this is for a purpose bigger than myself. But if you will light this up next to me, or the one behind me, that will solidify your presence. That will let me know that you're here. I come here by myself to connect with you because I have respect. It may not look like it. It may not sound like it. Rimpa's going off. Rimpa's going off behind me. Rimpa just went off. Can you do that again? I don't mean to come in fast. This friend pod just went off. But I just asked it to do something. I just asked it to set off one of the REM pods. 
Can you do it again? I know you chose the one that was furthest away from me and that's fine. I'll give you back your space. I just wanted to show that the device was by the stairs. There's one here and I got the one that was by me. As you've seen, I was, I had the camera propped over here. I was sitting here by this REM pod. So it wasn't until I actually started to deeply connect. And it just happened to be the REM pod that's furthest away from me, which A, shows that it wasn't interference from the phone or from myself. On the other hand, shows that maybe they want their space, but they have just enough respect to show me that they're here. I know that was you that set that off. I know it was you. Sorry. Don't be sorry. That's what I asked for. I'm not afraid. She won't leave. Who are you talking about? Cam holds a belief that his grandmother is often with him. There, there's a, a, a strong female presence that you carry with you, period. Cam was with her till her passing and carried her urn to the final resting place. Perhaps her presence is keeping other spirits at a distance. Rampod's going off. Can you do that again? With the REM pod failing to trigger, Cam turns to the spirit box. A spirit box is a form of ITC or instrumental trans communication. This device rapidly scans radio frequencies, offering a source for spirits to speak in real time. So can you tell me your name? For its name, it just said Heather. It said behind you. It said behind you. You set the device off a minute ago twice. Christopher. So Ghost Tube just said Christopher when I asked who's setting off the REM pod. Priest. Do you have anything you'd like the owners to know? The current owners? Important. Important. I feel like this chair I'm sitting in just shook. Okay, so we're going to do this communication session. You can speak to me through this device. It's really the easiest way we have to talk to each other. What's your name? As Cam is asking for names to come through, Thomas is clearly heard twice, alongside a female voice saying evil. just went off again by the stairs. Who is setting off the REM pod by the stairs? Tell me about it. 
me how to feel. Ah, 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 I hope now that you can trust me, see that I'm not here to cause any problems or cause any damage or act ignorant. This is my place. Who are you? Is this General Stone? Wife Lydia? Do you want me in your place? Okay, so this is the direct communication I was asking for. I was just asking if it was okay if I moved around the rest of the house, if I had your blessing to do that. And it seems like you got kind of demanding and said, you know, this is my place and leave me alone. The K2 meter detects electromagnetic fields. And while the meter can be triggered by phones in close range, CAM has cell data turned off. And this is the only time the device is in flux, despite being the same distance. Frame pod. I almost caught it that time. Who is setting off this device? Why? Are you stuck here? Are you stuck in this house? Do you choose to be here or are you stuck? Christopher. Christopher. Getting a lot of names. And that's the second time I've got Christopher coming through the ghost tube. So we're gonna... REM pod's going off again. I hope the microphone picked that up. You don't want to talk? So who's up here with me right now? Someone in Lydia's bedroom is adamant about not communicating, with multiple no responses on two different devices. Seller. Seller. You trying to get me down to the basement? With whoever possibly guiding Cam to the cellar, he goes to that location, as there may be a specific reason for the timing. Thankfully, he listened. And she says she's very good. Cam set up in the room where it said a little girl is buried under the floor. His secured video camera sitting on a chair quickly spun and fell off. Notice both of his hands are holding equipment. This remains unexplained. Stop recording. Why? Just moments after the video camera fell, Ghost Tube says, stop recording. Is this pure coincidence or an answer? 
quite sure what's going on. So I just came down here to talk. Who's here with me right now? Can you give me a name? Go ahead and set that device off. I'll stay away from it if you want. say buried? It said buried. The story goes, this spot here, as you saw with the tour guide earlier, she was talking about how they had alleged that potentially there's a little girl buried down here. Whether there's a little girl or not, we don't know. Whether there's anybody buried here, we don't know. Um, I did set up there's three REM pods in the K2 meter here in the middle of the floor. This one started to trigger just a few minutes ago. So if there's any spirits down here that want to communicate, that want to clear anything up, I don't come here with any disrespect whatsoever. I'm here by myself. I deployed this equipment here. I just want to get some answers. Of all the investigators that have come through here, I am the person who you should be communicating with. I hold great respect. I just want the truth. I just want to know what's happening. With that being said, I want to know, is anyone here that is buried? Do you want your story told? Rampod just triggered. Rampod just triggered when I said, is there anybody buried here? There it goes. There it goes. Go ahead and set it off. I'll back away. I'm gonna back away from it. Go ahead, set it off. No Pagan. Way. No way. I said Pagan trying to give them any means that they have to. There it goes. I hear this one. Are you buried here in this room? You want my attention? You want to get a message out? I'm right here. How do you feel? I'm curious. I'm not afraid. I'm a researcher, I'm here looking for answers. I'm here to preserve the history of the Stone Mansion. I know it's hard. I need you to concentrate your energy on that device. Give it to me. It's right there, you have to get it. If there is something dark here, something evil here, something that doesn't belong, I didn't bring you here. I'm not trying to force you out of here. Keep your distance. For the benign spirits that are here that want help, or if you want a message out, or if you are trapped, if you're lost, if you're confused, if you're a dark spirit or a negative spirit that just wants to be freed from this space, let it be known. Who is setting off that device right there? The one that makes noise and lights up. Who's, who is setting that one off? Infant. Infant. I mean, they said it was a little girl, but she wasn't an infant. But it's just the fact that... It's just the fact that it's young. <laughs> Sounds like a little girl coming through. As soon as Cam turns on the spirit box, the sound of a little girl is heard. Who's the little girl voice? Let her speak. 
feet. It's a, oh, it says abused. It says abused. Who is abused? Again, a little girl's voice is heard from the spirit box. It sounds like she is saying me in response to Cam's question. Who is abused? Who is abused? You just said threat. What do you what do you say? Are you threatening me? Is that what that's supposed to mean, that I'm being threatened? Or are you saying that there's a threat down here? It seems like there's something going on in that room. As soon as I showed up, it said buried, and I continued to get responses as if it was backing up the claims of what we heard earlier with the tour guide explaining that somebody may be buried under the ground there, possibly a little girl. The question remains, is there someone buried under the stone mansion? Is it really a little girl? Or is something deceptive playing on the minds of investigators? It just feels like something's falling. This has been a really crazy night. Just got quite a bit of activity happening. The, the activity that's happening has been very intriguing. It's not always so much about the amount of activity, it's the type of activity that you get. Like the relevancy per your questions and like, you know, the, the areas that you get the activity in. This night is the eve of a rare solar eclipse, which happens to be in totality directly over Winchester. Perhaps this energy is also adding to the heightened paranormal activity. And even though it is weather that brought me here, you know, a tornado, extreme weather brought me here, the fact that it all lined up with a uh, very rare solar event, which brought me to a house of a man from 1868 who was obsessed with the heavens or the cosmic display. It just shows that whenever you are in alignment, life finds you. It's about 4 a.m. I'm most drawn to this room. As I said, my name is Cam. I'm here to document the history of this house. I mean no disrespect of any kind. I'm not here to get you to perform. I'm not here to get you to do tricks just for the sake of doing them. I set these tools out so that we can communicate. The more we communicate, I can validate your presence. The more that I can show other people that yes, you're still here. And as I document the history and display the history and respect and preserve that history, I can also preserve the fact that you're also still here. I'm trying to open the minds of other living beings on this planet. And we need your help to do that. The feeling that you can't display on camera is that energy like encroaching behind you, like it's coming up behind you. I feel that every square inch of this house. Is General Stone still here in the house? Is 
wife, Lydia. Love her. A voice is clearly heard saying I am, when Cam asks if General Stone is still present, followed by the same voice saying love her when referring to his wife, Lydia. Is General Stone still here in the house? His wife, Lydia? Love her. General Stone, if you're a stargazer, solar eclipse is coming in pretty fast. We'll be here in like, what, six hours, seven hours? Are you able to still... That's strong. You see it light up to blue? That was a strong hit right there. The REM pod in the doorway triggered. After sitting idle for over 30 minutes, Cam, along with all of his gear, is sitting too far away for this to be a false positive. That's strong. Something is here. You saw it come in with one, it stopped, and then it came back in even stronger. I already know you're here. You don't have to continue to prove it to me. I already know that you're here. I'm just asking out of respect and to validate to other people watching. The other two devices sitting here, will you please light up one of them? Can you hear it? It's kind of weird it says that because a lot of times the theory is that they're trying to do it. They may be touching the equipment, trying to get it to go off, but the energy isn't translating into the physical object, making it go into flux. Shut off. Um, the raw power and energy of a tornado with lightning and just that supercell energy being absorbed into the brick, into the wood, into the ground of this location. You add to that that solar eclipse energy moving in as well. Name a better scenario to be in a place like this. I wanna know, are you able to see the stars in the sky in the eclipse? Are you able to view it from where you are now? The red light once again shuts off on the camera. Do you approve of the restoration process of this house? Like, if you see the house the way we see the house, which is in a abandoned type state, although better now than what it was, do you see it from its glory days when everything was immaculate? Or do you see it as it is now like we do? Can you answer that for me? Olivia. Olivia. My light just got really bright. Are you messing with my equipment? So if you prove, if you want the restorations to keep going, maybe that's your answer, guys. <laughs> because I was getting, my next words were gonna be, if you approve, light up the device. No energy. Could the spirit be referencing Cam's theory from earlier? They may be touching the equipment, trying to get it to go off, but the energy isn't translating into the physical object, making it go into flux. It's like it's trying to light it up more, do more, but it just can't. 
And I was just saying that. Just trying again. Go brighter if you can. If you approve of the restoration, it just went brighter. The REM pod once again spikes to a moderate level, inexplicably on command. This is real spirit contact right now. I don't care what anybody says. Now, can I say for sure who or what it is? No. But I know that it's not me. It's none of the equipment in here. And there's nothing standing there. I want you to know that you're helping to bridge the gap. It's not for you. I know. I know that. That's what I just said. This isn't just for me. It's not just for one person. It's not just for anything. It's a collective understanding. I understand that this is for a purpose bigger than myself. I thank you for communicating with me. You are helping. I know it's annoying, everybody coming in here asking the same questions the same way all the time. I get it. I understand. You don't have to scream, you don't have to yell, you don't have to fake things. When you have, res when you have respect, it said to look. Ghost Tube said look and then that went off. When you have respect in the paranormal field, and I'm not talking about from other people. I'm not talking about people in the field. I'm talking about from the paranormal, from the actual spirits. You don't have to fake things. You don't act, you don't act like a jackass. You don't do any of that. You just, you just receive. You receive the respect. The energy is very heavy right now. Very heavy. I feel like there's more than one, but there's just a collective purpose for why that's happening, for why this interaction is happening. And I hope this resonates for somebody who's watching. I hope it opens up somebody's mind. And I want to thank you, whoever you are. Whoever, whatever you are, thank you for communicating and bridging the gap. I appreciate it. As you can see, it's totally functioning normal. There is nothing, there's nothing, you know, about this, it's the same. It just doesn't have the energy to do what I can do because I'm physical matter touching a physical object. However, they're able to break through that field of energy and make this device react. We don't know. Demon. This place has just been amazing. As the investigation ends, Cam makes his way downstairs. As he turns the corner, a shadow apparition is captured. You can see the figure moving quickly down the hallway, as if trying not to be seen. Cam discovered this during evidence review, so he sent Stone Mansion's owner Dan, along with Lydia, back into the mansion to attempt to recreate the figure. Okay, so we are recording to try to debunk the shadow figure. Now, this is the post that we were worried would have been 
causing or casting a shadow. But it's way too low. But it is definitely too low. Back to the bottom of the stairs. You can see Lydia following the same motion, with a flashlight in the same position. Yet nothing resembling a figure is found. I hope this helps. If this is a shadow figure, the question is who or what is it? Is it possible Stone Mansion is haunted by spirits of the past? Is General Stone still here in the house? Or is it an energetic portal where dimensional entities are drawn to? A truly multi-layered reality, waiting for those in alignment to unveil itself, leading a man to walk alone into the darkness. Cam believes the tornado and parent supercell storm has energetically charged the stone mansion, an energy that could be imprinted forever. The next time you hear a storm coming, the unexplained noises in the night, look up to the dark sky, feel the spirits surround you. This is Para Twisted.